Good prey. Good boy. Very good. So when you crate your dog, make sure you reward him. Occasionally give him a biscuit and tell him good crate. And you can see the command that Kelly's given him to get in and to come out. Good boy, Carlo. Good boy. Good boy. So on the heel, make sure he's on your left. And you always start off Good saying heel, name Carla. and heel. Good boy. Good heel, Carla. And you notice she verbally Good praises boy. him. And when she stops, she reminds him to sit. And you always say his name and heel. When you reverse your turn, you want to remind them what you're doing and say their name and heel again. And that tells them you've changed directions on them. And then you can also occasionally give them a little treat for being good. And that is the heel. Okay, this is the sit stay. You want to have him sit. Right hand open, go towards his nose and use the word stay. And remember on a sit stay, that is for short term only. It's not comfortable for the dog. They're gonna stay there a certain amount of time. And they should sit there until you return, but you don't wanna leave your dog sit in a sit stay for 15, 20 minutes. It's not fair to them. And when you return, give him a reward for it. And tell him he was good, lots of verbal praise. And he shouldn't move until she tells him. And that is your sit stay. Okay, the down command, there again is the right hand, palm open towards the floor while you say down. And you see he's very enthusiastic about it, he loves it. And then you give the stay command, right hand, palm open towards his nose, use the word stay. And he should stay there until you return to him and release him. And this is the command that you'd use for a little longer term if you have something you want to do and you need him to kind of be out of your way for a few minutes. I would put him in a down stay and not a sit stay. They're more comfortable. As you can see, they'll lay there. They usually doze off. Um, it's just a lot more comfortable for the dog and a lot more fair to them. And that's what he's doing. He's ready to go to sleep. <laughs> and when you return, you definitely want to praise him and tell him how good he is. And then he shouldn't get up until she tells him. She's giving him a treat for being a good boy. And he's up and that's it. Hey, this is the recall. And any time that you call your dog, use his name and the word come. Paulo, come. Good boy, buddy. Good come. And he should come front and sit. And I like to tell people to always give them a treat every time you call them. Have a little treat on hand. It keeps them very excited about coming to you when called. And this is one exercise that needs to be very strong 
because if for some reason your dog um, gets away or something, you want it to come when called. And as you can see, he was interested in going on the dog bed and she called him off of it and he gave up what he wanted to do to go to her, which shows that he has a very strong recall. And once again, he loves his crate. Good boy, Apollo.